Okay, there we go. Uh, so I just I just want to uh, do a quick session today, just to just to go through it. Yeah, is you can see this spill from the top here. Uh, got a wick through here. Got a push through here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And again, this looks like it might be doing a, a third uh, a third spike, and that we're coming up for a double top. Uh, and again, looking like it's resetting resetting uh, the range here for resistance and support yeah um, with this 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 here being uh, 45 48 being skyline <coughs> excuse me so we're just waiting on uh, to see if this is this is the reversal that's going to head down yeah so uh, I got my knickers in a twist a little bit uh, yesterday because uh, I'm in I'm in a 38 uh, 38 28. Um, I held my position so realistically I should have just taken profit should have taken profit um, and then let this let this let this play out I thought because of the the, 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 the spike here and then this push through again normally when there's a push through it's for continuation so I, I hung in there um, and it was only later on uh, on this way up here I realized that look, in fact this looks like it's starting to move into uh, a consolidation phase uh, and then last night I was just like, oh Jesus, how far is this going to go? So I put my stop loss up uh, just to uh, just to make sure I was I was covered, yeah, because uh, I'd stayed in for this. So that was that was my after my camera after the conversation yesterday. That was me playing out my old my old resistance. Uh, but I knew I knew also as well that there, there's a limit to this. Um, there's a limit to this, and I I thought this was going to come up. And then head on down uh, uh, faster. It still might do that, but as it stands, it it looks like it's now starting to move into a consolidation phase. And I went back and I had a look, and I can think I I think I can find exactly where we are. In where is it? Is it here? There we go. Okay, so this this here. Is the daily on the previous uh, dump the final dump before the lift the bottom of the bear market in uh, 2020 yeah? and if you look here here's here's the peak it drops down and this red line here is the 200 MA on the daily it drops below the 200 here okay and <clears throat> again before it does this big drop drops below the 200 here and you can see that the 200 becomes resistance and then you've got the lift up here uh, and uh, our, our lift came higher our lift came up much higher did a full uh, uh, 786 and a little bit more yeah so potentially what we could be looking at here and again this was its this was its range this this was you probably probably bring the range down a little bit here, yeah. On this on this uh, on this cycle, this this here pretty much would have been this the range of this cycle, yeah. So so when I saw it coming uh, much higher up to here, I was like, oh my god! And so I thought I thought I was gonna. That's why I stayed in my trade because I, I I was pretty sure I wasn't gonna break it, yeah. Uh, but anyway, it did uh, by a little bit. Uh, so now it looks it looks like you can see that the pattern we've got the drop, we've got the we've got the lift is it looks like we're 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 gonna head back down and uh, uh, do a a a first drop. Now this one took three days, and the reason why it took three days is for the five. This orange one, the five on the daily, was was pushing it down, but there was a fair bit of resistance on on, on the way back up as well from the earlier time frames. Yeah. So, my my key point is we're 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 under the two hundred MA, and the five, this morning when the day turned, the five clearly crossed over where we are. Yeah. <clears throat> so that pattern is following following, and then if you look on the See the white line here and the, the blue line, the 20 EMA and the 55 EMA. Over here, they crossed over and that created the spill. 
So now these guys crossed over, wicked each other yesterday, and then this morning uh, they crossed over proper. So they they crossed over a little higher. <clears throat> so, but the twelve crossed over a few days ago. So now here we are uh, on today's chart. I'll put it to the daily. I'll put it to the daily, and again. You can see what I was talking about. Here's the 200 on the daily. Is we got a wick through, we got a back test, <coughs> excuse me, and we got a push through. Again, that's why I'm thinking, okay, this is going to continue down. Long wick, back test, strong push down, a little bit of a lift, and I'm thinking, okay, it's going to it's going to continue down. But it, it actually looks like it's it's setting up a consolidation range, and just there's a lot of volatility because it's it's doing moves in days, yeah. Um, so, so now, if you look just above, you can see the the twenty crossing the fifty five on the day on the daily as well. Yeah, so that's going to take it. If you give that uh, a couple of days, is it'll start to move down. And this here, the previous one, it took three days to hit its target, and you can see the volatility in it. Is it took another one, two, three, four, five days to top, and then the sixth day a turn. Yeah, so essentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the eleventh day a turn. Yeah, so it does. It, it doesn't have to be this pattern at all, but it's 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 in in the same 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 but a little different uh, range. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have to take ten or eleven days. Um, so what I will be looking for is. A move back down to a move back down to to the support line here and I think the obvious one here is again you can see the wick to it is there's always a breakthrough and a lift is how I mapped out the the limit here is on the daily basically I said this drop Skyline is from the from this top daily uh, two days ago to the bottom. Yeah, so when I put the fibs on it From bottom to top to look at the range is There is the the, the 786 so again, you can see you can see I was looking to uh, In and around the in and around the range of my own entry, so it, it came up quite high <coughs> Excuse me, and now if it's going to head back down we do the reversal. Yeah, so from the top of here, back down to uh, the bottom, and again you can see the 786 is at 32, 32.92. So I have my I might take profit at um at 33. Yeah. Uh, so that's 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 what I'm watching for. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see <coughs> how it behaves over the next couple of days and and and. Uh, we get a bit of movement, yeah. So now going back to this one is where is it? Going back to this one is you can see today it did quite a big drop, quite a big back lift back up, and then another down. So it came, it came, it'll, it'll come, it'll come pretty close today, and it looks like it's going to be quite rangy before it drops drops down again. So <coughs> it, it it does look like it's going to be a fair bit of volatility, yeah. Um, but potentially same same but different. Um, so, so that's what I'm looking at. When I zoom in now on uh, the 12 hour, is <coughs> you can see that the VWAP for the day is up and it's up for the 12 hour. So, as price action goes along, what turned last is the, the 9 hour turned. And again, you can see the VWAP is, is turning, and then the eight hour, the eight hour turned previously, and the VWAP is turning. So there's that challenge of of every every hour that turns, the VWAP turns and, and looks to be resistance, yeah. And again, you can see the, the challenge with turning the likes of um, the eight hour, the five on the eight out here here is a proper a proper looks proper pumpy pumpy, yeah. Um, but then when you go have a look at the four hour. Is the four hour? This is where the twenty EMA and the four hour seem to be uh, the 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 point that uh, stopped the lift. Yeah. So the four hour is is on the RSI 
stock here down here bottom 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 second on the right is that's topping out and again it's looking the the ma's look they are looking like they want to turn yeah and the 20 is pushing down here and here's the 20 ma the pink one and the 20 ema yeah so it, it looks like the the lower time frames are are, are, are looking for a turn. So there's the five and the three hour after taking a turn down there. So the, the lower time frames look like they're ready for a correction. The four hour, well the four hours go up, the, up, up, to, the, up to, the, to the 12 hour and the daily is the VWAP looks like it's, it wants to lift up. But then when you look into the dailies, the dailies look like they're pushing down. So that's the, that's the, that's the, uh, the pendulum the pendulum of the move is that the dailies and the shorter time frames are working together for the push down while the later time frames the the 8 9 10 12 hours uh, they're going to be the resistance while their stock down bottom second on the right again their stocks start to come up uh, again so the 3 hours in the over overbought the 4 hours in the overbought bought the 6 hour here is look it's coming up so again that's part of the resistance of the to turn down the same with the eight hour eight hours on the way and again this is this is halfway up but the next one will be up here the next one will be up here yeah um there's the nine moving and then all the way to the 12 yeah so you can see the 12 is 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 still under the 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 oversold and it's looking to come up, yeah. So the twelve doesn't have to come all the way up. So in this in this consolidation, is is uh, over the next uh, couple of days, the, the twelve can hang around here, and this gets down, yeah. Um, comes up one last time, and comes down. So by the time this consolidation is finished, the stock on the twelve may find its way back to the top. A um, little bit of a zigzaggy thing going on. Potentially, if this is if this is going to play out the way. Uh, I think it might play out is is we can watch this and we can observe how how the the the, the six seven eight nine ten twelve hour uh, resets itself for the bigger dump uh, uh, again potentially potentially so so that's the that's 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 the play of things uh, <coughs> excuse me we just got to watch it so it would be really sweet if this does become the the consolidation uh, it does become the consolidation range here yeah um, it looks like it uh, now you know yourself is is there can be news coming in and uh, it gets a lot more volatile one of the things I was I was mindful of about the, the, the higher test is you see on the, the, the 50 SMA on the daily this green one up here yeah is Part of my, I don't know whether it's confusion, is the thought, the thought I was on previously is that in this previous pattern, the question was how we hit the bottom and we may already have or we still have a bottom to come in. So the talk, the talk previously was that we've already hit the bottom. We've already hit the bottom and that we're, we're here. And we're doing this, we're doing this here. And we're, in, we're in a consolidation range here, yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me. If that was the case, breaking down below, uh, breaking down below the, the 50 SMA, breaking down below the 50 SMA, is is my thought was if this is the case we break below the 50 SMA we come back up to te back test it and that will decide whether whether um it's going to uh, figure a way up or else get rejected and get pushed down yeah where in this scenario um in this scenario again zoom in here again the placing of the MAs is here's the 50 double check 
is now just a yeah it is yeah this green line here is the 50 sma and there's the 200 so they're very close to each other here so it 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 broke through and again here's the here's the back testing <coughs> excuse me is is it, it touched it here so what what it broke through i'm pretty sure yeah it did a wicker back test of it and pushed down it didn't hit it again is the 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 20 and the 55 ema is crossed over and spilled so my drama last night is is uh, trying to get a sense of in this position is it the 200 that is the resistance that sets up the 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 consolidation cycle or is it up here is it the 50 sma that is that is going to set up the consolidation cycle so i wanted to i'd already i'd already already held my position here so i needed to uh, cover myself here in case this was and also i know it said to people uh, just to let this play out, put the stop loss around 42, just so there's not a, a flash wick, yeah. So I'm mindful, that's what I said to people, and I was like, okay, well, if people are in the red here, is I need to let you know that, uh, uh, is it the 200 or the 50 S, 200 MA or the 50 SMA, that's gonna be the resistance here. So I, I just did, I, I posted that to cover, to cover it, to make sure that nobody's getting, nobody's getting caught with, it, with a wick up to here, yeah. So at the moment, it seems it seems like the 200 is is resistance yeah um, I'm pretty confident in that with, with what I've just showed you yeah but there you go so you can see you can see where what, what, what I was posting and why I, why I was posting it yeah um, so so yeah so now we just got to see how this behaves um, and uh, that's it that's that's it I could, I could waffle on and talk about other things uh, but that's this that's the simplicity of it. If I pop this down onto the four hour, again you can see the four the four hour here. Um, if I pop it onto the one hour, um, again if you look at the SMAs here, is on the one hour. Now the one hour is the one hour SMAs is like the four hour EMAs, yeah. So so you can see that the 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 50 SMA on the one hour here again is, is, is looking like a nice a nice resistance uh, position yeah if I put the EMAs in is there's the look there's the one hour EMAs and it looks like here's the 20 coming up and again we what we need to see is a rejection of that here and then it coming back down yeah so so we'll see look there's the crossing of the one hour here's the push down and again here's the back test of the 55 uh, at one hour and again we look for 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 a push down here yeah um, and it may take a, a couple of swings like this to 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 get down yeah i'm mindful now when mountain peak comes we get the first drop and then we start heading up again i'm curious to see uh, uh, where mountain peak will go because the 200 ma on the daily is around here i'm just wondering whether it'll be able to break it it didn't previously so it'll be interesting to see uh, how, how that plays out yeah so when i flick to the four hour is look now you can see on the four hour here is the the 20 ema is and again this looks like it was the decision maker with regards rejection and pushing it back down as it stands yeah but then the four hour smas is here you can see the 50 uh, getting very close to crossing the the 200 and again, this is <coughs> this is a big deal. They don't cross over very often, yeah. So, so there you go. So that's that. There, that's that's all my thoughts. Um, so let's 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 see how this plays out, and uh, let's hopefully we all get a nice trade in, taking profit. And I am, if it heads down here, I will be looking for a short because I'm looking at this now as a consolidation range rather than now look we're going for a spill and the spill is going to continue. Is I'm going to play out this consolidation range. My idea is if it is correct, we'll get a, a drop here, we'll get a lift, uh, we'll get another drop, uh, and then we should get one final lift up, and this is where I'll be looking to, to catch a short 
and stay in for the for the bigger drop. And then that's that's if it's going to break down. That's what I'll be looking for. Yeah. So that's that's what I'm going to work towards. Um, and then we'll see if any news comes out and wants to accelerate the whole process. Uh, there you go. That's it. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll we'll chat in the chart as we go along. All right. Have a good one.